Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Victoria and I have been in a reading slump. So this is my mid-month wrap-up. It is the 16th of May um, when I'm filming this and I have not even read 10 books. I think I've read eight and maybe half if not more than half of them were rereads. I felt the slump coming on towards the end of April. I was just getting really busy and was not having a lot of time to read. Um, and then what little time that I did have, I was choosing to do other things instead of read. And it just kind of spiraled into this whole not reading and not really wanting to read anything um, and not knowing what to choose and just like not feeling it so I'm really really trying to like get back into it um but my problem with slumps that I always have is that I'm so worried about reading a book that I'm like super excited for when I'm in a slump or that I had previously been super excited for when I was in a, when I'm in a slump because I the fact that I'm in a slump and the fact that I'm like not super in the mood for it right now like can really diminish my rating of it so I want to like save those books <laughs> for when I'm not in a slump and I actually will really really enjoy them because like there are five star predictions that I like think that I'm absolutely gonna love and if I read them now I'm just like gonna be bored um, and like not fully focused on them so I have a hard time choosing books <laughs> um, but with that all going on. I did read eight books in May so far um, and I'm going to talk about them. The first book that I read was called Not For Me and this one is a Omega verse. It's like kind of a novella or more like just like a shorter book um, and I was scrolling through Kindle Unlimited one day and I came across this one and it sounded interesting. I was like Omega verse is what I had been in the mood for at the end of April so I was like okay let's try it and I didn't hate it I didn't love it I think I'm I think I gave it three stars um it is about a woman who is an Omega who really doesn't want to be an Omega and in this world that they are in um Omegas are placed with alpha packs um sort of like against they don't have any say in it. Um, they fill out this like ancient quiz um, and then the Omega Placement Center places them with an alpha pack. And so they don't get any really say in it um, and they are basically just given to the pack and the pack is now in charge of them and they're sort of like treated like baby making machines. Like they don't really um, have a lot of the same rights that men do or other um, ranks so alphas and betas and so the heroine in this book she hates the fact that she's an omega she does not want to be part of this whole situation she thinks it's so demeaning and she just doesn't want kids she does not want kids and so she doesn't want to be put in this system where she's given to alphas and told to have children um and so she does something to sabotage her placement um, with the placement agency and when that happens the placement agency instead sends her to auction um, and they have all the like bad omegas that don't follow the rules are sent to the auction where the lower level alpha packs or, um, who are like not as high ranking or not as like prestigious um can buy an omega um and so she gets bought by this um high ranking alpha pack they happen to be like a royal pack one of the like really um high level packs uh saw her and was like oh my gosh i want her um but they don't want they it wasn't really in their plan to have an omega they had had one previously 
who was killed. Um, and since they are so high ranking, there are a lot of like threats to them. And so they're worried about the idea of having an Omega, but it's been five years now or something like that. And they are at a point in their life when they should have an Omega. Um, so they buy the heroine and the heroine goes to live with them and she is told that she is their maid. She doesn't want to be their Omega. She's like makes that very clear that she doesn't want to be their Omega. They don't really want an Omega and so she lives with them. She becomes sort of their maid and they very slowly develop like a friendship and a um, relationship with the three guys in the pack and her. So it's a reverse harem. And I enjoyed how strong the heroine was, how much she stood up for what she wanted, how much she made it very clear what she wanted and tried very hard to fight her biological urges as an Omega to do, um, to mate with the alphas and I like how much the alphas respected her boundaries and tried really hard to again fight their urges and their own biological needs for um to be with an omega so I thought it was re done really respectfully and um I liked the characters but I think that it needed to be developed a little bit more, the like actual romances. And I just think that like if it had been a little longer that it would have done that. Um, also, it was definitely, there were definitely grammatical errors that I noticed. And I'm not really somebody who notices those kind of things um, or that like they bother me. Um, but this one, I noticed them repeatedly having like grammatical problems um and so it kind of took me out of the story a little bit so that did um influence my rating next book that i read after that was a reread every time i read an eden finley book on ebook when it first comes out um i always do a reread when the audiobook comes out and uh the audiobook for puck Tri puck drills and Ch quick thrills puck drills and quick thrills that's hard to say, um, by Eden Finley and Saxon James came out on audio and I had read the ebook previously so I did a reread with the audiobook. I love Eden Finley's audiobooks. They're narrated by Iggy Toma and Alexander Sendees and they are always done so fabulously. Um, I gave this book five stars when I first read it and I'm still giving it five stars. It is an adult um, MM hockey romance where the um, one of the heroes is the hockey coach um, actually assistant coach for the hockey team at Colchester University and um, he has a romance with a hockey hating professor in the math department at the school and it's so good I really really enjoyed it. Um, it has a really fun fake dating element to it that I always find so fun. Then I did a reread of Epic by Serena Bowen and Elle Kennedy. This is the novella that's after um, the Him and Us duet and it just follows Wes and Jamie. It's hella short and I just did an audio reread of it because I saw an article um, about a guy um, getting called to the NHL for um, as a backup goalie um, and that's what happens in this book novella so it just made me think of it and then I did a reread of it. Uh, then I read Ruthless Creatures by JT Geisinger. This was my first ever JT Geisinger and I didn't mind it. I gave it three and a half stars. Um, I do have a vlog for this because I did read it for the Mafia Romance Readathon um, so I'll link that vlog down below. I didn't get a lot of reading done in that vlog so this is the only book that I read in that um, because I was so busy that weekend but I talk more about why um, I had problems with it. I enjoyed certain parts of it and then the parts that I didn't like, I really didn't like it. Um, so it was very insta-love and I had been told that going in but I was surprised how insta-love it was um, and I thought that the pacing was a little off which is why it was 3.5 stars but overall not bad and I'm definitely going to continue with the series because I'm very excited for Carnal Urges. Then I did a reread for book one and two of the Elite series by Brooke Blaine and Ella Frank. These are MM, very short 
uh, romances. So they are, there's a three book series and they like all together are the length of like one long book. Um, so they're all like kind of like novella length, like the audiobooks I think are only like four hours for each of the books. Um, I watched Top Gun, the movie for the first time ever. And this book series is um, very much similar to Top Gun, but an MM version. So they are in the military and they are uh, sent to this elite flight school where um, they compete to be the um, number one pilot. So like the best of the best are chosen and go and they compete. And two of the um, members of the school have a romance. So it's uh, Panther and Solo and they have like a rivals opposites attract romance and it's fantastic. So I did a reread of book one and two. And then I read Eden Finley and Saxon James' new book, which is Irresponsible Puck Boy. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. I gave it five stars. It was a friends to lovers romance and a by awakening. So uh, Trip is in love with his seemingly straight best friend. They have been best friends for a really long time. And they are very, very close. Like Tr Dex, the friend, is incredibly touchy-feely. Um, he's very like liberal with his I love you's. He likes to cuddle like he's very touchy-feely and from the outside it looks like they're together. Um, but Trip, um, but Dex says that he's straight. Um, and Trip is out gay and he is in love with with Dex um, and they he kind of has a hard time saying no to Dex so even though it hurts him because he's in love with him um, he can't say no to him and so when Dex decides that he wants to do a trial marriage he's basically like um, his girlfriend wants to get married and he doesn't really want to get married um, and so he and Trip go and do a practice marriage and then they're like I'm not gonna file the paperwork or anything so it won't be legal they're just gonna go up there and like say their vows and just see if they can do it um and then the ma marriage ends up being actually legal and they are married and it's a whole PR scandal because they are both professional hockey players and it's just so fun the uh friends to lovers was so good I loved Dex's um journey of his like um, discovering his own sexuality and what he actually identifies as. And I thought it was done really well and I really really enjoyed it. Then the last book that I read was another reread and that was The Understatement of the Year by Serena Bowen. Okay so my camera battery died because of course it is, did, it always does for me. Um, so I just switched my phone to end this video but it is an MM college uh, hockey romance um, and I hadn't read it in a really long time. It was one of the earlier Serena Bowens that I had read so I wanted to do a reread of it because I was thinking about it and this one is about a guy named Riker who is had a really traumatic um, history as a gay man. He um, and his best friend Graham when they were little were together um, but in secret because they grew up in very religious households and one day they decided to try and attempt to go out on a date um, and they go to like sort of the next town over and these guys see them kiss in their car um, and when they leave the car and are walking together the guys jump them and attack them and Graham runs away um, and Riker gets left behind and he is beaten very very badly um and uh then Riker's parents throw him out um and he goes to live with his grandmother in Vermont and Graham and Riker never see each other again I think his name is actually Ricker if I remember correctly um but him and Graham never see each other again until um Ricker leaves his uh previous college um again for being gay um, when they find out he's gay, um, he has to leave his college and he transfers to the college that Graham happens to go to and joins the ho Graham's hockey team. Graham is terrified by this because he his like worst fear is being outed um, and nobody knows that he's gay. Not a single person in the world knows that he's gay except for Ricker. And so he is not the nicest at times to Ricker because he had a fear. He doesn't want somebody to find out. Um, and so 
he, the two of them have to very much work it out. Um, and it's, it's hard. It has a, a, a lot of, of very real drama to it because they're both so, um, they're working through things and it's hard. Um, but that was the last book that I read. I gave it four stars. I stuck with four stars, which was my original rating for it. Um, but that is it for this video. That's all of the books that I read so far. I really hope that, um, I can work my way out of this, um, slump that I'm in and read more in the second half of May. Uh, but that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below how your reading has been going so far this month. And I hope that you will subscribe and stick around so you can see me in more videos. But other than that, I hope you have a great day. Bye!